Ever wondered why a pleco can still survive even after its body looks completely dried out? Its body may look stiff as wood, but the moment you pour water on it, it starts moving again. Plecos originally come from South America, a region with extreme cycles of rainy and dry seasons. That's why they naturally evolve to survive long periods without water. When water's available, they breathe through their gills. When water disappears, they enter a dormant, sleep-like state. So why do people dislike plecos? They were first imported as ornamental fish, and some sellers claim they could clean aquariums. While they do eat algae, they actually prefer fish eggs and tiny fry. Things got worse when people began releasing plecos into the wild. From that moment, their population exploded. A single pleco can lay up to 2,000 eggs. They specialize in eating other fish's eggs and aquatic plants. If food is scarce, they'll even chew on carcasses and plastic. Their durability is basically on par with cockroaches. They can thrive in filthy drainage canals and still move around like nothing's wrong. And in the wild, they have almost no natural predators. Local fish simply can't compete for space. But if there are so many of them, why don't people eat them? Well, despite our reputation for loving all kinds of food, plecos are almost all bone, with only about 17% edible meat. Their flesh is extremely fishy, and their bodies often contain parasites and heavy metals. If you have a choice, it's better to eat anything else. Some people crush plecos to turn them into livestock feed, but the nutritional value and commercial value are low. Fine as a filler, but nothing more. The best way to control them is simple burn them or bury them.